Hello everyone, welcome back to Ray's Budget, it's your girl Ray, and in today's video, I will be doing my fourth and last cash stuffing of March, so let's get started. Hello everyone, please check out the comment from our supporter of the day, Budgets with Bess. Bess, thank you for your support. Okay family, happy whatever day it is when this video reaches you, but I hope everybody is doing well. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. Now guys, in today's video, we have a lot going on. So let's go ahead and read the inspirational quote of the day. And it states, life has no remote. Get up and change it yourself. Guys, that is a good one. I'm gonna set that one right there. Now guys, let's go ahead and get the money into the cash tray. And today, we are going to be stuffing $886. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that off to the side. And guys, while I am putting the money in the cash tray, I'm gonna let you know what we will be doing for today. We are going to be stuffing my everyday spending envelopes, my revolving and long-term sinking funds. We're gonna stuff my self-care binder and my bills binder. And in regards to my bills binder, guys, I will also be unstuffing that money today so I can take it to the bank because I am not going to be doing a um, bills unstuffing video, guys. This month, I have done a lot of videos, so I want to give myself a little break. So I'm going to do things a little bit differently today. Let me go ahead and move this money up. So yeah, guys, I am not going to be doing a bills unstuffing. We're going to do it during this video. Okay, guys, the very first envelopes we are going to stuff today are my everyday spending envelopes. And for anyone that is new to my channel, when it comes to my everyday spending envelopes, any money that I have in here from the prior week goes into my Spend Less, Save More challenge. And we will talk about that challenge in a minute. But groceries does have a little bit of money left in it. Now we're going to restuff groceries with $150. That's $51.20. 40, 50. Dining out has a couple dollars in it as well. Today it's going to get 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. Spending has five left in it, and we're going to restuff it with 10 today. Allowance, I did not spend my allowance. It still has its five. We're going to restuff it with five. And gas does have a couple dollars in it. We're going to take that out and we're going to restuff gas with 25. And those are my receipts I need to scan into my Fest Rewards. Guys, if you don't know about Fest Rewards, you are sleeping on free money with Fetch. All you have to do is download the app. Scan your first receipt and you will start receiving points that you can in turn turn into gift cards. Now, guys, I just recently um, redeemed some gift cards and I'm going to put them on the screen so you can check it out. And I am going to go ahead and put on the screen what my referral code is and I will put it down in the description box. But guys, do not sleep on Fetch because that is free money. Now, what I am going to do is go ahead and move to my bills envelope. Actually, guys, before we do my bills um, binder, we're going to go ahead and do my um, revolving and long-term sinking funds real quick because with the bills binder, I have to actually unstuff the money that I'm going to take to the bank. So as far as car maintenance is concerned to today, guys, it is going to be getting $5. Five. And let's see how much we have in car maintenance. 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. We have $358 in car maintenance. YouTube today is going to be getting $5. 5, so YouTube now has 5, 10, 15, 20. General funds today, guys, or miscellaneous funds today is going to be getting $10. 10. General funds now has 10, 20, 25, 26, $27. Now that is for my revolving. We're going to move to my long-term sinking funds. 
which is just basically our three grandkids. And the first one is Messiah. He is our Messiah. No, the first one is Elijah. Elijah is our Otis. And today he will be getting $2, one, two. And Elijah now has 100, 200. These are placeholders for money that is in our Ally High Yield Savings Account for our grandkids. EJ or Elijah has 1, 2, 50. 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. Elijah has $271 in his account. Nalia, that is our granddaughter today. Nalia will be getting $1. One. She now has 150, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. $159 for Nalia. And last, we have Messiah. Messiah today will be getting $1. Messiah now has 150, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Okay, guys, the next envelopes we are going to stuff are my bills um, envelopes. So what I'm going to do is take the money out, add to it what I need to, count it to make sure I have the right amount so that I can take the money to the bank. Now, guys, today mortgage is going to be getting $337. So we have $100, $200, $50, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,
150 every two weeks. Today, this is getting 75, 50, 70, and five. So this should be $300 for the month of April. We have 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 95, three. $300. So let me go ahead and put all of this money together really quick. So I'm going to move this off to the side. And guys, remember, I, starting next month with the month of April, I will no longer be stuffing my bills binder. Okay, guys, really quick, I'm going to count how much we have going to the bank. And then we're going to go ahead and move on to my two savings challenges. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's one thousand fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty one. 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80, so that's 480, 510, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, have my fives and my tens backwards. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30 dollars. So that's $2,310 that's going to the bank. So let me go ahead and put this in here. And guys, real quick, I just want to show you that I estimated our bills for the month of March to be $2,284. So we have well more than enough that will be actually going into the bank to cover our monthly bills. Now let's go ahead and move to my savings challenges. Okay, guys, I am back. And the very first savings challenge we are going to address is the spend less, save more challenge. And um, I say this all the time, but for those of you who are new, basically with the spend less, save more challenge, what I do is any money that I have left over when I um, restuff my everyday spending envelopes, that money goes into this challenge. And my goal with this challenge is to make a principal only mortgage payment by the end of the year, totaling $1,345, which is the total of one more, um, monthly mortgage payment for us. Now, today we're going to go ahead and see what we are going to be adding to this, to what we already have, so that we could take the money to the bank along with my bills money, so that I can make that principal only payment. So let's see what we have going on here. Okay, so we are going to be adding 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 dollars, guys. So let's put 28 dollars in the calculator. And what we are going to do is add that to what we currently have in here. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have $109. So guys, all together for the month of April, because I have to make the payment in April, we are going to be making a total, total I'm sorry, principal payment of $137. So what I am going to do is take this money and I am going to add it to the pouch that I just put my bills money in. But what I want to do really quick is go ahead and track it because I also think I am able to color in another little piggy. So just as a FYI so far for the year, I have made a principal only payment totaling $405. So what I'm going to do is write April deposit 
or I should put payment. We have $137. We're going to take the $137 and add it to the $405. Well, wait a minute. $137 plus $405. So, guys, I am currently at $500. And forty-two dollars. And just as a FYI, let's take the five forty-two minus one thousand three hundred and forty-five. Guys, I only have eight hundred and three dollars to go for this challenge that I set up for myself. Now, real quick, I want to take the five forty-two and divide it by forty because I want to see if I it's time for me to color in another little piggy on my tracker. So let's do five forty-two divided by forty. Guys, that gives me 13.55 piggies. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm only at 12, but let's make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Woo! Go, Raquel. Guys, I get to color in another little piggy. And I just love doing this to track my progress and give me a little pat on the back, guys, because I think I am doing awesome so what i am going to do is go ahead and put this tracker back in here and we're going to move to the last challenge and the last challenge we are going to do for the day is a challenge that was created by mel over at uh, mystic budgets and it is the um, scratch off star challenge and i actually purchased the one for 265 dollars since i am low budget so we still have the $5 from last week. Let's see how much we're stuffing this with real quick. We had 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. You know what, guys? I made an error. Let's put this up really quick. And I always forget about this. I did not do my self-care binder. So let me pull that out really quick. I don't know why I forget about this binder. Because I first started out with just a beauty envelope. But for some reason lately I've been forgetting that. Because I'm looking at this like, girl, you got too much money over here. What's going on? So let's go ahead and do this one really quick. Now in nails, we are going to stuff it with $5. And so now nails has, let's see. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Nails has $100 in it. Hair and brows today is going to be getting $10. 10. It's now at 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 91 to 92 dollars for hair and brows. Personal essentials will be getting one dollar. 20, 30, 1, 2 for personal essentials. Clothes and shoes will be getting a dollar as well. It now has seven. Dates will be getting one dollar. It is now at 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Gifts to myself will be getting one dollar today. One, it now has seven. And massages today, guys, will be getting five dollars. Five. Massages is now at, let's see, 50, 70, 75, 80, 81 for massages. Now let's go ahead and move to the last savings challenge. Okay, guys, I am back and let's go ahead and continue with this savings challenge. Let's count how much more we have to um, stuff this with really quick. We have 10, 20, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. We have $32. And five of that was the $5 I had from last week. So let's go ahead and pull out my cards. I think I only have enough to do two cards today, guys. So let's do this. 
go ahead and do this first one. $12. So let's do 10, 11, 12. And let's do the last one. And this one is $10, guys. 10. Let's see how much we have left. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, guys, I'm going to chance it and do one more. Hopefully, this is not a big one. And you know what I didn't do really quick? Well, I'll do that in a minute. Let's just set those there. <sighs> Here we go. And I knew that was going to happen, guys. This is a 15. I owe this challenge $5 because I only have $10 here. So real quick, let's put that there. Let's go ahead and color in the number 12. The number 10. And the number 15. See the 15 right here. And I have to write an IOU for myself to make sure that I stuff or that I save $5 for next week or the next time I do this challenge. So let's go ahead and add this in to see where I am at with this challenge. And the go is $265, guys. We have 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. We have $134 for this challenge. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you hit that like button and you make a comment because, guys, that helps out my channel. Now, if you are new to my channel and you like what you see, please make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. I would love to have you here. Guys, I will see you on my Save Day Sunday video. Have a great rest of your week. God bless. Bye, guys.